Brothers and sisters and comrades, it's May Day. It's our day, Workers' Day, our colour is red. Red because of blood that has been spilt, because of the blood that runs through our veins, because the common, lowest common denominator of all humanity is our human cooperation, our belief in our, each other, and our willingness to reach out and get the job done, not on, on behalf of one person, certainly, individuals are important, but on behalf of all of humanity, all of the labour movement, all of the ITF, regardless of the sections we come from. So let's celebrate it. Let's celebrate the great achievements that May Day has given us, working men and women all over the world, from old age pensions, to unemployment benefits, to regular work, to penalty rates, to security of employment, all of the things that gives us dignity, the right to bargain agreements, the right to be recognised to come together into unions, all of the things that make us complete and give us the protections we need is a celebration of May Day. May Day is when workers, working men and women and their families from all over the world come together and celebrate those things. Celebrate peace. There can be no dignity and decency in our working life if there's not peace. Peace is fundamental to dignity and decency. And there's a lot to do. We live in a dysfunctional world. We live in a world where elitism is increasing all the time, where the polarisation of wealth and power has never been greater, when there's never been more people in the world than today, over 8 billion people. And yet those 8 billion people, 4 billion of them, have the same wealth as 15 or 20 individuals. And what do they do with those with that money into those resources. Do they put it into your infrastructure? No, they privatise your infrastructure. Do they put it into your communities? No, they take it out of your communities. But in our world, the ITF world, all we can do is stand together, make sure that all of the components, all of the fingers of the ITF, it doesn't matter whether it's aviation, dock workers, seafarers, fishers, doesn't matter whether it's tourist workers, inland waterway workers, divers, port workers, doesn't matter whether it's aviation workers, urban transport, doesn't matter whether you work in rail or road. They're the fingers, more than 10 fingers. And when we close those fingers into a fist, we're able to fight back. When we hold those fingers out and shake hands with the employer, it's done with the basis of dignity and decency and mutual respect. That's what the ITF is. Steve Cotton, the General Secretary, myself, the wonderful people that we have working in all of the ITF areas, all of these men and women dedicated to make a better world. We can't do it without you. But let's celebrate what brings us together, this tremendous success that gives us the ability to live decent lives that gives this ability to pick workers that don't live decent lives out of something that will give it to them. A true international force, a true individual force, a true moral and collective voice. That's the values of labour, that's the values of the ITF, and that's the values of May Day. Celebrate May Day, let's recharge the batteries and let's go forward like we've been going on and delivering these things for generations and generations and generations of working men and women before us. Happy May Day.